Nick, thanks. KC's Fringe Festival is in our nonprofit spotlight today. And there are two locations where you can see the work of dozens of artists, including Union Station. And that's where we find Fox Force's Kathy Quinn. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Now, the Fringe Festival, it's performing arts, and the visual part of it, what we're looking at right now, is uh, really up and coming. 30 artists is here and celebrating, Catherine. 20 years? 20 years. But you're, you're celebrating 10 years. I personally am celebrating 10 years with Fringe. I think what I love about your work is it just comes alive. This is something, this is a live painting. Uh, this right here, like it's almost like 3D. Yeah, I call it high relief and pasto texture. So it takes a long time to dry, but once it dries, it dries solid. So you're welcome to touch it. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I said that you were an inspiration. Would you explain a little bit how you're painting and you've got a little bit of a disability? Yeah, so I, um, I'm i visually impaired and I have a macular degeneration called Stargardt's disease. And basically what that means is despite having perfect vision for 20 years, just shy of my 21st birthday, I was diagnosed with this. And my vision loss experience has been a loss of predominantly central vision. And so I see a lot higher contrast. I tell people all the time to kind of squint their eyes and see things in, you know, higher value, um, higher contrast. And that's something I really like to communicate with my work with a lot of mm. vibrant colors, lots of metallic paints, and a lot of that texture to kind of create that. Well, let's kind of take a look over at some of your other work. It's absolutely fabulous. Here through the 28th, and that's Saturday. And what happens is people come in and they can buy some of your work. And so it's been pretty popular for you yeah. this this time yeah this has been a great year so far um lots of foot traffic it's really such a privilege to be able to exhibit our art here at union station in the grand hall i mean you just couldn't ask for a better no. location at all it's great for emerging artists and established artists i mean i celebrating 10 years i mean it's just such yeah. a privilege to be able to show art here how do you choose what you're going to paint your subjects how do you do that um i well, i get a lot of inspiration from a lot of things um i have lived downtown for 12 years so I get a lot of inspiration from downtown architecture and just the city life and lights and stuff like that so yeah. and, and I think what I love about it too the artists we've done the fringe festival before they all support one another it doesn't matter there's they just all support each other absolutely that's one of my favorite that's what makes fringe one of my favorite shows is that it really is kind of like a fringe family okay. like a family reunion we have a lot of returning artists that have been doing this um just as long as i have if not longer and we also have a lot of new faces as well very good okay you're going to give us a tour of some other faces in a moment next hour you stay with me yes all right. with i just want to show you as we leave this is a painting you just finished i just finished this one here oh, live wow. here in the grand hall it's beautiful thank you back to you guys in the studio isn't that gorgeous i think it's my favorite it's breathtaking it's, it truly is yeah um and i just went to her website it's she's got beautiful. some beautiful paintings there um i'm a fan kathy wow what a cool cool thing to support wow yeah yeah thank you amazing yes. great stuff thanks kathy